the RC Sailors got a new upgrade for our batteries. This is a universal charger and a balancer for lipos. It set us back a pretty penny for just the charger, but it should cut down our battery charge time from about 12 hours for some of them all the way down to 45 minutes. So this is an unboxing of the Ascend Multi-Chemistry AC-DC Peak Detection Balance Charger. Let's see what's inside. This is the first time I've had the lid open, so I'm very excited to see this. There's the instruction manual, of course. And it should be pretty basic. There shouldn't be a lot to this, but I want you guys to see it too, because when we upgrade, you guys upgrade. And it's important for you to see what we're getting so we can tell you if it's a good product or not. And that's everything in the white cardboard. That's everything in the box, so there's not a whole lot to it, but there is a lot to learn, and you want to make sure you charge your batteries properly and safely. That's the most important thing. We've got a display on ours so that we can set the exact amount of uh, milliamps and voltages for our batteries. I'm very excited to charge some batteries on this thing. I'll show you guys once it's plugged in. Okay, this is the charger plugged in, and this is what it says as soon as you plug it in. Select the functionality of life charge. That is just the default setting. Also, I forgot to mention in the previous scene there that this charger will charge nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, lipo, and life batteries. So that's pretty awesome. I am gonna show you guys how to charge a regular nickel metal hydride battery. This is just a, it's probably our lowest quality battery we have, and we wanted to use a 1500 just to kind of test it, make sure things are gonna work. Um, anyway, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get this thing charging. So I'm just gonna plug it in with your standard uh, clip here. What we need to do is select nickel metal hydride charge and apparently it knows or something but this is already on 1500 milliamps that's what the battery is so we're going to go to the next screen and this is the confirmation screen. It must know. Yeah, there's nothing else to choose from. So just confirming at 1.5 amps or 1500 milliamps and we press and hold enter for three seconds. It's checking the battery for nickel metal hydride charge and now it's started. Uh, the display has all kinds of information, but this is what it does when you plug a battery in. When it's finished, I'll come back in and we'll, uh, we'll unplug it. And through the magic of the internet, we just passed 40 minutes later and the battery is done. It had a, an annoying loud beep like an alarm clock would. I mean, but that's good. It caught my attention and it went off for about 20 seconds. I just missed it before I could show you guys, but uh, you can imagine what it would sound like. And it tells me that it took 40 minutes and 26 seconds once it's completed. Using a 700 milliamp wall charger, that drastically decreased the charge time. And this is supposed to be a much safer, more efficient method of charging batteries. So it's better for your batteries too. After you disconnect the battery, then press back. It goes back to the main menu. The instruction manual recommends unplugging it from the wall when not in use and that makes perfectly good sense. But I think I'm gonna charge a few more batteries and give this a little run for its money. Okay guys, there you have it. There's our new universal battery charger and balancer and disc charger. And uh, I would have to say, it's gonna save us a lot of time charging batteries. It was a little bit expensive, but uh, it seems so much better than what we've been using. I would personally recommend this to anyone doing anything with RCs, planes, or even if you could use it for cameras or something. Uh, this thing is awesome. Now if you haven't seen what we really do here at the RC Sailors, then check out some of our other running videos of our vehicles and other unboxings and reviews. Thanks again for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.